so I was talking to the guy and I said, man, I like, he's like, well, if we buy it, would you be interested in it? And I said, hell yeah, I'd be interested in it. Why wouldn't I? Like, it's my old truck. Supercharged. 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 What's up, Dream Chasers? What's up, Wrench Gang? Kevin Van Voris checking in on my way to Kansas City, Kansas. Not Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Kansas. So, uh, you guys are probably going to see this video first. Yeah, I'll probably put this video out first. So, I'm bored, okay? I've been driving for like six and a half, seven hours. I only have like 45 to an hour left. So, I'm trying to make some videos, right? To get that YouTube money. Psych. YouTube don't pay shit. But, anyways, so I was hit up. Uh, <clears throat> let me get this dude's Instagram real quick. And I know, I know. People are going to be like, you shouldn't Instagram and drive. Well, guess what? I'm Instagramming and driving because I don't give a damn. So, okay. Uh, slow underscore RT. He is the president of uh, 806 Mopar there in Lubbock, Texas. So I was hit up by him. He sent me this picture and I said, that's weird. I'm actually looking at getting a truck. So this is an awkward thing and I'm gonna drop that picture here. That picture is my old truck, <laughs> or Rachel's old truck, our old truck, whatever you want to call it. And I was like, wow, I can't believe, I'm like, where is that? Do you have it for sale? Because I'd love to come look at it. And uh, he said, no, it's at an auction in Lubbock. I said, no shit, really? <clears throat> so I'm talking to him, send me some videos. I'll post a couple more pictures if I have them on my phone. And uh, it's dirty, but it looks the same. It has uh, 52,000 miles on it. I think I sold it with 35, so they put about 17,000 miles roughly on it in about 11 months or so, maybe 10 months. And um, <clears throat> for anybody who's wondering why cars go to auction, at least from my understanding, is that say I trade a car in, right? and it doesn't sell at the dealership, what they do is they'll just take it to the auction for better chances of selling it there instead of selling it at, um, at the dealership. So I said, well shit, let me send these to my wife because we were just talking about getting a new truck and uh, whether that's a Ford or a Ram or a GMC, I don't know, I don't know, but I was like, man, I, w I would love to come look at it, like to see like if it is, you know, the only bad thing is like the technology's not, not updated, but it's already tuned, it's deleted, it's linexed, it's lifted, it's got wheels, probably needs new tires. <coughs> um, but I love that truck. It was one of my favorite cars that we've ever had. And uh, I should have never, I just, I should have never got rid of it. It's fucking stupid, but whatever, it's dumb. It's done and it's dumb done and done so I was talking to the guy and I said man I like he's like well if we buy it would you be interested in it and I said hell yeah I'd be interested in it why wouldn't I like it's my old truck what are the, what are the odds that it's back in um, back in Lubbock because uh, I, I believe when we traded it into Lubbock because that's where this Jeep is from they sold it to somebody in New Mexico because people like snapchatted me and said, hey, your old truck's in New Mexico. I was like, oh, no shit. And they left the CA, like, uh, emblem on the grill because that grill was, like, $1,400. It's, like, a custom grill. It's custom painted to match. has the custom CA logo in it. And uh, before I sold it, I forgot to take it off. 
or at least the CA part, but they left it on. I was like, oh shit. And even at the auction, it was still on. I was like, damn, okay. All the windows are still dark. Everything looks good. It's just dirty. Um, the tires did look like they need to be replaced for sure. Um, but anyways, so I'm messaging the guy back and forth. I talked to Rachel and she's like, well shit, like if we can go and get our old truck, why don't we just do that? I thought about it and I'm like, okay. So the dude uh, goes to the auction. <clears throat> He's telling me like, hey bro, like it's up next. Uh, we're gonna see if we can buy it. And I was like, okay, cool. So I'm going back on my messages of how much I sold it for. So that way, if I do buy it, I can have some buying power. You know, you don't wanna overpay for something that you don't have to. So I know how much I sold the truck for uh, when we traded it in for this Jeep. And uh, he's messaging me and I'm like, all right, cool, dude. I'm like, if you guys get it for the right price, like I will for sure at least come look at it. If I go look at a car, I'm most likely gonna buy it. Um, Cause it would just be nice to have our old truck back. Like I wouldn't have to do anything. Like, yeah, I wouldn't have like the updated cameras, but everything else is super nice. Like I don't have to do anything to it except get new tires. It's like a thousand bucks. Anyways, so I'm waiting for the dude to hit me back. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Rachel's like, so what happened? What happened? And I'm like, I'm waiting. Finally, the guy let me know, he's like, hey man, uh, we ended up not getting it. It sold for 35,000. I was like, damn it, auction, that's pretty fucking good. Because what they'll do is they'll probably mark it up to like 47 or 48, and then they'll probably, you know, obviously come down on it. Or whoever bought it just bought a nice ass truck for not very much money. So, um, anyways, I told Rachel, I was like, look, if the place in Lubbock would have got it, like we could have at least gone and looked at it and uh, decided like drove it make sure the transmission is still good make sure it still runs good I'm sure like the fuel filters need to be changed I'm sure that needs, oil needs to be changed um, but you know we could have drove it we could have thought about it we would have like obviously got our old truck back it would have been less than a new truck um, so uh, anyways after they ended up not getting it, I was like, you know what? I think it's a sign that we just aren't supposed to get it. Because I, the place that ended up buying it was not in Lubbock. They're, I don't know where they're at. They're, I think they're maybe in Louisiana or somewhere else in Texas. But anyways, so I decided not to end up getting that truck. Now, my brother was like, I don't even think you should look at it. And I was like, I mean, I, if it was in Lubbock, I would have drove the hour and a half to go look at it for sure. Now... When you buy a car at auction, you want to make sure that nothing's like all fucked up. The only good thing is the whole thing has been line X, so you know that like if it's been in an accident, you'd be able to tell really easily. Uh, if it was beat to shit or something like that, you'd be able to tell pretty easily. And since we own the truck for most of its life, besides the other 15,000 miles, eh, it's a pretty good chance that the truck would have been okay. So we ended up not getting it, um, but I thought it was really odd timing that we were looking at it getting a new truck <coughs> and our old truck happened to come up on auction so it's too bad because I would have loved to go and like drive it and just like feel what it would have been like um, on the older truck because it was a 2015 I didn't even know that until after like it was already sold to somebody else I was like fuck I was like it's a 2015 I was like holy shit so and if you own a Cummins like you know those motors are good forever. Um, the transmission, you know, if you're towing all the time with that year, it's kind of hit and miss. So, um, anyways, so we ended up not getting it. But I thought it was pretty wild that like it just happened to come across the auction block. One of you guys who follow me and watch my YouTube channel happened to just snap me a photo and be like holy shit so it, it was cool seeing our old truck like i still think to this day when i started fixing up the truck like i did it right um before we did the whole line x on the whole truck like rachel's like are you sure it's gonna look good i'm like i think it's gonna look fucking dope uh because like it wasn't a satin black or a matte black it was actually black but what they did is they inlaid the color of the paint so it was a sparkly line x which was super cool um it was like black tricoat or whatever it's called would i line x my next truck i would 
I don't know if I want to, but it just, I don't know. It, it gave the truck such like a, an aggressive fucking look and like the stance of the wheels, it wasn't too high and it wasn't too low. I thought the lift that we did on it was perfect. It was like a two and a half inch lift. It was on 35s, had 20 inch wheels. And I just thought it looked really fucking good. And no matter where we drove that truck, everyone would be like, I should have nicknamed it the neck breaker. So anyways, I just want to kind of give you guys a little update. I am on, I'm about an hour away. No, I'm less now. 45 minutes from picking up our new truck. I don't know what it is. You guys are gonna have to comment below and let me know what you guys think I bought. Um, there's only a few people, and by few, I mean uh, David, <laughs> uh, who knows what we're getting. So, um, luckily, Rachel doesn't hasn't called me yet today, but I'm sure that phone call's coming. So, she doesn't know I'm selling her Jeep yet, but she will. Because uh, we've been talking about like getting a truck, but she doesn't actually know that I like left and like already did a deal without her knowing. So, shout out to being married. I'll probably be in, end up on the couch. Maybe not. Maybe I will. I don't know. If not, I'll just go sleep in the Viper or whatever. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think I bought. I'm very excited because that means the Charger is coming home soon. And I'll make an update video for you guys on that too. I just, I'm waiting to make the update video until the blankety blank is at Livernoy and installed. And once it's installed, gap in the world, boys. So anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys have an awesome, uh, let's say Thursday. So awesome weekend. Let me know in the comments below what you think I bought. Anyways, follow me at Cali Boy Kev on Instagram and on Snapchat. I'm out of this picture.